Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 Breaking News. And that breaking news comes in from Sandy Spring, Maryland, where News Chopper 7 is now live over the scene of a crash that has injured 13 people. And within just the past five minutes or so, that road has finally reopened. Now, we've been following this breaking story since it happened just before 3 this afternoon. It is unfolding right now near the intersection of Norwood Road near Excalibur Lane, not far from Baker's Middle School. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis was the first on the scene. And Kevin, you showed us that frightening scene at 4 o'clock. Now, you just spoke to the people involved. What are they saying? Well, uh, very, very shocked. Uh, they were clearly still trying to focus and uh, gather everything that had just happened. We spoke with the wife of one of the men inside of that vehicle, the wife not in the car at the time, actually up at the uh, school, the Sandy Spring Friends School. They were having a Halloween uh, parade with all the children dressed up and she heard news. The principal came in, made an announcement about what you're looking at right now. Just a terrible crash. She came down with her daughter. Her daughter said, Mom, that's Papa's car. Papa doing okay tonight. And this is how police say the crash occurred. You see that tan Toyota Corolla. It was turning left into Sandy Springs School. When police believe it was struck, it was rear-ended by a Mitsubishi Lancer. That forced the Corolla into oncoming traffic, a black Chevy Tahoe hit that vehicle and then hit a green minivan. And that green minivan was carrying seven people, two adults and five children, the children between the ages of two and 10 years old. All seven people in that van injured and taken to the hospital. We were told one of the children, a three-year-old boy, had a horrible gash to his forehead. He had to be air vac to a nearby hospital. We spoke with that woman I was telling you about earlier today who saw her husband's car, she is so thankful here he's alive, and here's what she told us. He stopped to turn left. He was just, just waiting to turn, waiting for the traffic to clear. Somebody ran into him, which pushed him ahead. He hit that car that slipped over, and the car that slipped over kind of took the minivan down with it, it dragged it along. That's the first thing I did. I turned around to see if they were okay and they were fine, and then I looked down and the airbags are deployed. Just kind of hurt, it just hurts a little. And that's because you were wearing the seat belt, yeah. it kind of, but it saved your life, you think? It saved my life. And you're taking a look at some of this gravel that fire department officials have put on the roadway to cover portions of the road where fuel and oil had leaked. A fire department saying, and like that little boy said, they're echoing it. Everyone in this uh, crash, all 13 people, either had their seat belt on or in a booster seat or a car seat. And fire officials say that is what saved everyone's life in this crash. The scene, obviously horrible. Uh, when we got here, we saw that black SUV and that woman in that car walked right out, all because she was wearing her seatbelt. So that is the sentiment to pass along tonight. We are live in Sandy Spring. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC7 News. Thank you, Kevin.